February the 18th, 2021. Guys, it's been a hell of a week, just to put it mildly, starting about Monday, if I remember. And this is it's 4.24 p.m. Central Time here in Central Mississippi. Power's been off for about 22 hours. It's been back on about an hour. Now, we uh, have a wood burner, and so we were up most of the night keeping that thing stopped because we had uh, one of our kids come over and uh, his wife and uh, their grandchildren. So they were close enough to where they could make it. They have central air and heat, but we always prepare for uh, the entire family. And so they came in. We put up an air mattress in the living room by the wood burner and um, had with the solar panels, we had TV and things like that. You don't run everything because you're not sure when your power will be back on, especially when you have overcast days. But uh, my panels are adjustable to where I can focus them. And I kept about 70% power. And that's something I'm going to do a video on uh, once we thaw out. We're still covered in ice here. You, you can see the map. Um, the purple areas from Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi or hard freeze warnings tonight, guys. The lighter blue that goes north through north Mississippi and up the Appalachian chain, these are winter weather advisories. You've got wind advisories, wind chill advisories. You've got winter storm warnings again in Texas. Notice that right in south central in the pink winter storm warnings. Also, you got winter storm warnings up north, guys, here. In the East Virginia, South Maryland, Northeast Carolina, winter storm warnings. And this this has not been a pleasant experience, even though we were prepared. Uh, you also have freeze warnings throughout the area here, freeze warnings, and then the hard freeze warnings like we're in in Mississippi. Currently, the temperature uh, is about 30 degrees, and the wind chill is around 21. Tonight, it's uh, going to get down to in the teens as far as the real feel guys so i'm going to talk about some uh the hardest hit states so far texas louisiana mississippi as far as the ice and, and being so far south that the infrastructure is not prepared for it there were uh groceries we have one local grocery store in in the small town that's closest to where i live out in the country and they the building was not made uh, for ice, a large, amount, a large amount of it on the roof, and it collapsed, and so everyone had to go to the next city and put up with the Walmart uh, crap, if you understand what I'm talking about. And so, but we were prepared. Uh, we didn't, uh, we never cranked a vehicle. We still have it. Uh, the only, only tracks in the driveway are getting our grandkids in there. Uh, but uh, last night, guys, it got a little rough, and that maybe what some of you folks are going to see northeast of us before dar uh, it started raining and lightning and thunder and just freezing rain and ice pouring like a monsoon and as it got dark was the time we'd find the uh, power was had gone out and we were checking on everyone and again the kids were getting in and it was pretty rough uh, and it was cold because of that but we made it through it now, um, and I feel very lucky, lucky, and I told everyone, I said, we're highly blessed, even though the power's out 22 hours, we, the kids could watch TV, and we could, on a one-burner electric element, you know, you've seen the little ones, we used that and cooked on the stove, wood-burner stove, because you don't want to run a lot of 220 in an emergency on your solar system in your oven and hot water heaters, things like that, that run 220 will... If if you don't know how long you're going to need it and we don't have full sunlight, you can get close to lowering your uh, your battery supply. So that never happened. We were very conservative and uh, very thankful. And, you, you know, it makes you really count your blessings that you had some of your kids here that were, have, would have been in trouble. No electricity overnight and uh, just central air and heat. So we were, again, really blessed. And I, I know there's a lot of people in, that are having a lot of trouble. Let's, I want to take, I want to talk about some shelters and, uh, again, the, the, some of the southern states here. But you can go like, uh, to, to your local FEMA, like in Mississippi, it's MEMA, M-E-M-A. And, uh, they will tell you the cities and the, what they're calling warming centers. Same in Texas and Louisiana. I know there's some 
you guys down in Hammond area. You can go there and you're on Facebook. Uh, they're showing, uh, I think, three, two churches and another uh, location to where if before you freeze to death, go find these places. Okay. But I want to take a quick look at our radar just a moment. Now, as we back this out, you can see that in the northwest, guys, you've got moisture coming in and then it's starting to freeze. You've got snow, you've got ice, kind of a complete mixture here. It's we're in the we're we're dealing with grand solar minimum. We're dealing with February and uh, the vortex has split two or three times already this winter and dropped further south than it normally does. And you can see that now. One thing that uh, is nice on this map, sorry about that, let me pull it back a little, is that I don't see any avalanche warnings. And I'm not sure, remember Utah, Colorado were really covered in those a few days ago. And I think some areas probably go in if they can get in and with explosives knock some of that down. But you're also getting a break in the snow. You can see light snow moving through here, lakefront uh, snow, lake effect snow up around the Great Lakes. And from south uh, central Texas here is where your winter storm warnings are tonight. And that's going to move across north Louisiana, north Mississippi. As a matter of fact, we were getting snow up in Greenville earlier along the Delta. And uh, this right up the Appalachian chain, you can see what you're dealing with. But it is much better picture than what we've been seeing in the video I did yesterday before the power went out. Uh, I was going to do one last night, guys, but I had my hands full. I had grandkids trying to keep the wood burner stoked. I think I went through half a pile of wood in the, since Monday. It's going right now, by the way. But uh, I, I just had my hands full, and I would have uh, had to use more electricity. But everyone was up to date, I feel like, on what was happening. So the uh, situation is better now. We can completely use all the appliances, uh, the heat, the hot water heaters, things like that. But uh, it's a much better picture than what we've seen with that ice storm coming across the Mississippi River yesterday. Most of what we're dealing with in this area is snow. But Texas, you're not out of the gun yet because of that winter storm warning. And I, I want to point out a couple things. Now, if you're in Texas and you're in trouble and you don't have electricity, which a lot of people don't, and you're worried about your family or yourself, then I want you to go to TDEM. That's the Texas, uh, Texas Department of uh, Emergency Management. It's their FEMA, but it's TDEM.texas.gov slash warm, W-A-R-M. And uh, you'll come up with this map, and it's going to give you in the green dots. Let me back this out just a little more. And again, the green dots that you see on the Texas map are listed warming centers. You can click on these if you're in, up in the Amarillo area, one of the hardest hit areas. But the entire state is still being has been hit and is still being affected. Uh, for instance, uh, Amarillo area, click there. Faith City Mission, this is Region 5 in uh, Potter County. Emergency food, clothing, shelter, and showers is a daily service provided for Amarillo's homeless community. We have three hot meals Monday through Saturday. We also provide emergency overnight shelter, inclement weather shelter, and uh, uh, day room activities. Now, this one doesn't say it, but a lot of the ones in Texas that I kind of clicked on, guys, and went through the map, they require a photo ID. So if you have one, don't forget it if you're going to try to get to one of these shelters, but you can see they're scattered throughout the region. Also, again, in Lu now I'm not saying there's not a statewide map like we just saw in Texas. I just didn't see it, guys. But for instance, in Hammond, this is uh, from the Daily Star. It's a newspaper there on their Facebook. They're saying there are three warming centers there open in the parish for those who need warmth during the week's frigid weather. Tangabahoa Parish has partnered with the local churches to open the centers, which will remain through Thursday. So that's today, guys. Centers are lo and the weather's supposed to be getting warmer. Centers are located at Crossgate Church. That's on Highway 190 in Robert. There's a phone number, 985-507-7988. Guys, you just pause this, get the information. You got one at Brown's Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. That's Martin Luther King Drive in Kentwood. Tangabaho Parish, EOC Safe Room, second floor, Laurel Street in Amit. Now you can, and so wherever you're at, 
there are places that you can go to, just like we got our grandkids here, because I'm not sure the local shelters that in our area, I think the hotel rooms here, sadly, were gouging people, double, triple cost, things like that, um, which I think is illegal, but uh, we didn't have time to deal with that. We just had to do what we did here. But in Mississippi, you can go to msema.org. It's Mississippi Emergency Management Agency. It's our MEMA or FEMA. Uh, and it's actually msema, Mississippi Emergency Management Agency, slash news, slash shelter, safe rooms for winter weather event. You'll find it. It's easy. And they're listing in many of the counties, starting with Coahoma, going down the line. Uh, so come here. I'll put a link to this, guys. Uh, come here, and uh, if you're in trouble, you can find uh, not every county, and ours is not listed, by the way, but um, you can find places close enough. We could get over to Kapai County or Warren County, Rankin County, probably if we needed to, but uh, I prepared for years for just this, and uh, I think I was the first one really harping on Grand Solar Minimum three or four years ago and what would be happening. But, uh, guys, I just want to kind of touch base there, let you know we're fine, and to let you know that there's places that you can have shelter in. I'll list um, FEMA here in Mississippi, the Texas um, TDM map, but I did not find a statewide map in Louisiana. But you can go to your local newspaper online or your local TV station or your emergency management uh, websites and they will you will find a listing and other people in other states not just here arkansas do the same thing but they are available you may have to drive a little bit but first check and make sure the roads are passable okay because there's a lot of that happening now to where you can't get on certain roads now, some of the major highways are starting to open up we had somewhat of a thaw today it maybe got to 33 but it's dropping really fast now. we got a very brief, brisk north wind coming in, and it's going to be in the teens again. So don't uh, don't stay somewhere and uh, freeze to death or let your family get that cold. You're just going to end up sick, having to go get tests and shots and everything else. So take care of yourself, guys. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.